Dad, under some things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a glow up to help me. I'll help you. Episode 19, Science Bingo. So as my students know, one of our favorite things to do in class is play bird and bug bingo. I thought that we could try to play a live game with animals that you can find in the surrounding San Diego area. So you can actually download this file from the link below. Uh, it's a PDF and print it out. But if you can't do that, you can go ahead and make your own bingo board just by creating a five by five grid. And you can either copy the animals down that I've put or you can uh, enter in your own, it's up to you. Animals are generally classified into two main groups, the vertebrates that have backbones and invertebrates that don't have backbones. And so for this particular one, I chose four sets of vertebrates, mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians. And then also for invertebrates, I just kind of broke it up simply into insects and non-insects. So if you're up for the challenge, when you do spot one of these animals, you can fill in the bingo board accordingly uh, to their classification if you want, or you can just simply exit out. You're trying to get five in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally. I thought I would take this opportunity to share some of the animals that I have around my house. I have a saltwater fish tank with four different fish. Uh, there's a scopus tang named Riza, a clownfish, um, a couple clownfish actually. One is named Maleficent, the black and white one, and then this orange and white one is Jon Snow. I also have a banded coral shrimp named Waldo and he's pretty hard to spot and he doesn't really come out unless it's time to eat but he's hard to find and that's why he's named Waldo if you've ever read a Waldo book or looked at a Waldo book and the other fish that I have in here is a damselfish, the black and white one his name is the Hamburglar and this one's a bit of a troublemaker in the tank uh, very mischievous and likes to knock off corals that I place inside and generally just kind of annoy all the other fish in the tank but it's really fun to have and a lot of maintenance involved in the saltwater tank, but definitely worth it once you get it established and it's very beautiful to look at. And here comes Gambit, our cat, who's almost seven years old now. He's a very large cat and very friendly. He loves to be around us, he loves to get pets. Um, we often joke that he's kind of like a dog because he will sit around and wait for us. Uh, when we pull up from a trip, he'll be sitting out front and he definitely tries to guard us uh, from other dogs or animals. We have our chickens here. This is Phoebe. She is kind of like the boss hen. And then this is Yoshi. He's a little more skittish and a little younger, but uh, still lays eggs. And then we have our oldest hen who is named Climby because she loves to get on top of things. And here finally we have Sandy who is not happy with me because she was laying an egg. Pause here. And so I also went ahead and put a PDF link to a blank bingo board so that you could create your own bingo game at home. And I figured that you would take this outside and see what kinds of living things that you come across. Of course, it doesn't just have to be animals. Uh, you could make a whole bingo board just based on the plants that you find around the area that you live. Please do tell your parents that you are going to be going outside and that you have permission to do so and see what they what you see. Um, I think you could have a lot of fun with this with siblings, cousins, friends uh, at your in your neighborhood. So please let me know how it goes and a big thanks to my family for helping me out with uh, the science bingo boards.